morning everybody and thanks for tuning in I'm just doing a quick update to let everybody know what has taken place with me as of this morning since I woke up I have been getting what feels like um actually I don't know it's like a fungus or something it's coming up through my body especially from my kidney area it's going up through my lungs it's choking me up too it moves up through my chest on my right side up around my back of my neck to the spot on the back of my head and then I start getting electricity what feels like a fucking laser actually hitting me there. And then within two seconds, my skull will start to expand. I will start to get a lot of pressure. And that is from being broadcast through. As crazy as it sounds, it is from remote neuromonitoring. monitoring. And I understand that a lot of people do not know what tech is, and a lot of people are not willing to actually take the time to research anything. They're just more interested in passing stuff off as people being crazy, whatever the case may be, and that is not so. Anyway, what it basically does, it's a microchip, it's an implant, and what it does it basically destroys a person's nervous system and other bodily stuff and I believe that I have it on me compliments of ex-chief OPP ex-chief back in 2019 before he left I was sitting at my previous address, and next thing you know, he went by in a white Jeep. He waved at me. I waved back. Black truck pulled up beside him. They pointed something. They shot it, and it went into my right ear, and I started having problems ever since. But anyway, it basically enables a person through Wi-Fi, through cell phone and computer, to invasively broadcast through another person pretty much almost like um like quantum leap in a way almost like that everybody has their own body frequency everything is energy vibration and sound and everybody has their own bodily energy and that can be hacked into through Wi-Fi, cell phone, and computer. Whether anybody believes it or not, it can be hacked into. Your energy can be hacked. <coughs> Just do the, take the time to do the research. <coughs> anyway, what it does, it enables these people to broadcast through me. And this is how I'm being deformed. This is how I... I'm going, this, this is how my skull was split, which I've proven. My brain injury, which I cannot prove because Lennox and Anakin County General Hospital doctors are involved. So, in helping with this crimes and cover-ups for three years, I am the victim of attempted identity theft. I am the victim of skull splitting. I am the victim of brain injuring. I am the victim of kidnapping. I am the victim of sex assault. I am the victim of attempted homicide. I am the victim of medical negligence. I am the victim of medical blacklisting. I am the victim of discrimination through them. I am the victim of a lot of things. And my mother was also stalked and killed back in 2020 through OPP, Spencer Mills, 14716, and Stacy, a mental health worker, through their boss, 
inmate, untouchable, co-offender, sex offender, human trafficker, and serial killer of 149 Center Street North, <laughs> Napanee, Ontario. I'm having, I, I'm, I'm, my whole right side of my head right now is getting burning, serious burning, and it's swelled up right in here again. And I've been getting broadcast through by actually Tyler Lake and Javen Alstein. He used it last night on me. I barely slept. He used it on me last night and proceeds to use it to sleep with me. And this also can be used for invasive spying as well. Remote neural monitoring through a person's own eyes and ears. And then plus being broadcasted through. And also OPP took out their boss is prisoner tracking. They put it onto me. I want to make this clear. They put it onto me for tracking, for stalking, for framing, for part of this identity theft. Uh, last year, they got my blood, my piss through kidnapping me. And that was an attempt to shut me up. That was an attempt to stop this from what I'm showing. They also had me falsely charged for harassment, for wanting them charged and doctors and others as well along with their boss and everyone else involved with this for three years of crimes right now as I'm doing this I'm getting nothing but clicking in my ears so and I've not had any surgeries no prior injuries to 2019 up to that point I hadn't even had to go to a hospital or a doctor had no problems for almost 10 years and then all of a sudden after I got shot in the ear with something and the lies the time buying the cover-ups the arrest refusals except for on me the stalking the kidnapping and everything else in between for the last three years including having me medically blacklisted. Last time I went up to the hospital, Paladin Security took it upon themselves to kick me out of the hospital without reason when they're for a legitimate medical reason. So they are also involved. OPP Spencer Mills, 14716, Lennox and Annington County Provincial Police, Staff Sergeants, Ex-Chief Robert Lucas, Shannon Cork, Robert Kane, Shelley Hafner, Huffner, she told me Huffington, and that's why I was using that name for a long time, Dr. Tatiana V, aka Margie V, Stacy's girlfriend, Dr. Joy Hadley, Dr. Barton, Dr. Pritchard, Dr. McGregor, Dr. Waldron, Dr. Sue, Dr. Ambimbola, Dr. Fardell, Dr. Triage Nurse, Terry, Dr. Triage Nurse, Tanya, blonde hair, Dr. Triage, Nurse David, all guilty of medical negligence, medical treatment refusals, and aiding in this crime. Even me going to the hospital and Tanya phoning the cops to let them know that I was there for isn't an attempt to try to block this out. No criminal history or record either. My skull's been split. I've proven it. And I've been called a liar. My skull's been seriously deformed. I've been seriously brain injured and it can all be 100% proven, but when you're the victim of OPP here in Napanee, you know you will not get anywhere. They're, they're, they're guilty of sex assaults, kidnapping, along with everything else. My skull's been seriously split, deformed, and right now I'm starting to look like fucking Tyler Lake, a 30-year-old, and when I am 50 years old, so congratulations, you completely deform in my fucking head to, to frame me as this, a junky fucking goof. So. <sighs> Doctors and cops that need to be arrested, plus... Blair Hardy, who is allegedly in jail already, guilty of murder and attempted murder, 
William Woldridge Boss, 149 Center Street North, Napanee, Ontario, Old Boomhauer House. Also, allegedly, he is the Hells Angels Ontario chapter leader and boss to the OPP and doctors here. Also, Ray Ray, Sam, Hope Mills, Michelle, Allie Cooper, Bucktooth Bob, Ray Ray, or I say that, Sarah, Curtis, they've all used this on me, and they've all deformed my fucking skull from this. So, I just want to say congratulations after three years. You did it, Woldridge. You got your identity theft. You got your complete deforming, and you're going to get your framing. You have his prisoner tracking on me. You have the R&M on me to read as him, so there will be convenient mistake in identity when the time comes right. <laughs> And there's a girl missing here in Napanee, and Woldridge should be checked along with OPP. The human traffickers they are guilty of, they're guilty of the murdered and missing. Pedophilia, human sex trade, slavery trafficking as well, along with my identity theft, my brain injury, my skull deforming, and they're, they're drug traffickers as well. So beware. Chris Wood, I hope this is being seen and taken serious. Be safe, love all, hate none. Paladin security is also involved with this. A 500 pounds security guard, approximately 25 years old as well now, 